is exciting. It's her first. Literal on the road. Right, literal on the road podcast. I am going to take a little bit of issue. Well, no, I guess. I was going to take issue with the quotation marks on the box, but I think in this case. <laughs> you they, think they're accurate? <coughs> they actually work. Mm. This is called shotgun. So you yell shotgun when you're going into right, the car. Right, not so an actual be, shotgun. Well, it's... it would be something that you say as you're going into the car. It would be so, spoken words. Got you. So actual quote is what you're saying. Yeah. But that's still very hot. Very hot. Yeah, I don't like coffee from places. I have to like <laughs> let it sit for at least 15 minutes in the air conditioning blowing on it. Otherwise, no. it's way too hot for me. That or I have to have a lot of space for milk and then I put cold milk in it and then it's dry. Oh, then it breaks it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But usually the milk's not that cold or milk, cream, whatever you put in there. All right. So. Hey! Hi! <laughs> Welcome to our first ever on the road video podcast. So we are literally on the road right now. We are heading to West Palm Beach to Actors Rep Theater to do a show. A cage match! That's right. So by the time you hear this, we'll definitely have won the cage match. So that's not a concern. But um, we're going to play shotgun on the way. This game was gifted to me by Tiffany. Shout out to Tiffany. She's been waiting for a shout out on the pod. (laughs) And it is from the makers of What Do You Meme? So it's basically like two decks of cards. The cards are bright green, which is lovely. And it comes with this cool pouch. There are 200 cards. And you basically just pull cards and one might be a dare, one might be trivia, one might be questions, challenges, stories. So we're just going to go back and forth until we decide we're done and since this is our first ever video podcast you can easily listen to us the way you normally do but if you wanted to you can visit playdatepod.us and check out the video version which we are recording in the car on the way up to west palm beach yeah it may not be that dynamic because we're (laughs) We're in a car car. But yeah, so shotgun by what do you mean? All right, let's let's yeah. play. Now it specifically says Alan Dashi on a road trip. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna pick and then I'll read it. Okay. And then we'll see. Mm-hmm. And then whoever gets the most points wins. Okay. And then you can pick your card, but I'll read You'll it. You'll read it, yeah. So I don't have to take my eyes correct. off the road. Because yeah. Miami. Because Miami. We're moving very slowly, but okay. Just for fun. Whoever's losing right now has to buy the current winner a snack at the next rest stop. We're, we're no both one's tied. Losing. So no one's winning. We're tied. Losing, yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> snacks. Although Dash just did buy a coffee. And he offered to buy me a tea, but I said no. I declined. Okay. So just pull out of <coughs> Okay. Player with the longest commute gets a point for going through that five days a week. <laughs> I think your commute is longer than mine. Do you know how many miles your commute is? It's about 11. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how long is yours? Like three and a half. Oh, wow, yeah. How long does your commute take you? Depends on the day. Uh, My commute can take me, God, anywhere from 20, 25 minutes to like an hour, depending on traffic. Y'all, there's a peach car in front of us. It is fully like the peach colored Crayola crayon. Oof. It is a choice. This person has made a choice. Yeah. Maybe if I look at it, you can see it in my glasses. Because it's not like a Mary Kay pink. Yeah, it's, it's not a... Mary Kay pink. It is peach. Specifically peach. Y'all. It's wild. Mm-hmm. So There's I'm... a car out here for everyone. How many points did I get for Truly. that? Truly. You got um a point. A point. So I'm going to keep your points in here. I'll keep okay. my points over here. Got it. And the dead cards I'm going to keep underneath my thigh. Because that's how we're going to do it. All right. Okay. Um, one point to all the cozy cats wearing sweatpants. Are you wearing Ooh, sweatpants? I am not. I'm wearing my jeans because we just got. I just got out of work. I'm wearing jeans too. Nobody is. If wearing it wasn't, sweatpants. if this was a longer road trip, I would be wearing leggings. Probably not sweatpants. Okay. It's too hot. It I is. Too hot yeah. Sweatpants. sweatpants are not a thing. Like pajama pants. Even I, sometimes too much. Even pajama. Yeah. No. It's like leggings. Yeah. All the way. I, it's I, just too hot. I feel like, yeah, I feel like Miami is leggings or shorts. 
It's like I would yeah. wear shorts, like comfortable cotton. Yeah. Maybe not cotton, but like what's like a like, like a, a nice, basketball short. Right, like a basketball like a short. Jersey material basketball short. Right, something short. something soft. Magic logistics for all your magic logistics needs. <laughs> what is a magic logistic? I don't know. You know, maybe how to where to put your box on the stage. <laughs> in your so you can saw your grill in half. How to hold a deck of cards. Where, yeah. Where do you put your hat? Do you put it on a chair? Do you put it on a on a on a platform maybe? I don't know. Where do you go if you're disappearing off the stage? Right, do you go stage left, stage right, just drop right down into the audience? Do you make it a trick? So many things. So many logistics to think about in the world of magic. Was that your pick or my pick? That was my pick. Oh, your pick. So I go next. I love this bag. Look at this cool bag. Isn't that a cool bag? Okay. Quick. What is the capital of the states we're in? First person. Tallahassee. I wasn't done reading the card. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. We're in the state of Florida. Yeah, but I was still reading. Fine. You can have it. Yeah. This Florida capital is Tallahassee. Also, I'm, con- the I'm convinced they picked Tallahassee as the capital because at the time they were picking capitals, everything south of the Okeechobee Lake was, was just swamp. swamp. <laughs> but now it's like the most profitable part of Florida. Yeah. Also, like, I just feel like a capital should be central. Many of them yes. are not. Many are not. They're not. But like. Why not Orlando? Just because it's right. central. Right. It's right in the middle. You don't have to travel too far to get anywhere. No. I have never been to Tallahassee. I've lived here over 15 years and never once been to Tallahassee. Not one time. Nope. Me neither. Yeah. There's a school in Tallahassee, right? Uh, I, F-F-S-U? F-S-U? Maybe. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't go to school here. Ah. Um. Okay. My pick, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Here we go. Starting with Shotgun, that's me. Go around and name songs that have drive in the lyrics. Ooh. The first person to get stumped loses a point. So, not in the title, in, in the, the lyrics. lyrics. I get to go first. Okay. Drive by Incubus. Okay. Uh, shut up and drive. Shut up and drive. drive. Okay. I'm going to go with Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Do I get extra points for also saying the artist? I don't know. Does the card say that? No, but we can make that decision. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm crushing it and you're just... Someone is calling you. Okay, so Dash just received a phone call and it was 47 seconds long, which allowed me <laughs> to think of... She drives me crazy. Ooh. Ooh, oh. Like no one else. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I got it. I got it. That Britney Spears song. You drive me crazy. Oh, good I just one. Can't something. Speak. <laughs> yeah, I'm so go. excited. I'm, I'm in too deep. deep. Crazy. Because it feels all right. Baby, I can't sing thinking anymore. of you. Sing more yeah, we have to pay. Yeah. We can't. We can't monetize okay. this video. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh,. <laughs> the wheels on the bus oh could have drive in it right the driver on the bus goes it does have technically the wave, word drive wave, in wave. It. yeah okay uh all right so i have to take 75 I'm, I'm approaching an exit i have to take 75 north so i'm here uh okay um Oh, I'm out. I'm stumped. Yay! Good, because I didn't have one more. That's my first <laughs> point. That's my... Oh, you lose a point. I don't even get a point. You just lose one. What the hell? What? Lame. Okay. Is it my pick? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, no. Mine. Okay. Lose three points if you've ever hit a car, then driven away. Couldn't you have at least left a note? <laughs> no, I've never hit a car and then driven away. I have also never hit a car and then driven away. That's good. Yeah. We that's should, you shouldn't do that. No. Do not, do not hit cars and then drive away. Actually, normally I don't even hit cars. I like run into columns and stuff. Like that's <laughs> my, more my... I'm so glad that you continued that thought because... 
that's more my ammo. When you said normally I don't hit cars and you paused, I really want to be like, you hit people? No. <laughs> no, like I run into columns and stuff. Okay. Like columns and barricades, barriers, like that's more gotcha. my okay. style. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you though that a lot of people don't know this, but if your car is still movable after you get into the accident, you are allowed to move it out of the flow of traffic. As a matter of fact, it's a safety issue. A lot of people will, uh, a lot of people will hit another car, right? Like you'll rear end another car. And then car, stay and in then the middle lane if you yes. have one. And then they'll just like stand outside or in between the cars looking at the damage. Like that, and then that's when other accidents happen. Like yeah, you can like, move it, move well, it to the side of the road and then have a cop come and, or deal with it, you know? Like, yeah. Oh. So yeah, you can move your car out of the flow of traffic. Don't move it too far. So many car Just, accidents. You know, right next to wherever you are. Dashboard. First person to Yay. spot an animal outside Ooh. the car wins a point. Now there's is, birds is, on the on the railing. Oh come on. That's an animal. Yeah, that is an animal. Fine. There's birds on the on the on the concrete railing. Fine. I was about to say, is this in perpetuity? Like, it should say an no, animal. No, it's not a birds. first person. Are, are you arguing birds are not an animal? No, no, no. I'm just saying that they should qualify as animal, not birds. Because birds are so easy. Well, there's another bird right there. Okay, fine. And that one was an alive bird, not just a picture of a bird. <laughs> an alive bird. An alive bird. <laughs> it was a little... Mm -hmm. Sebastian, Ibis. I, oh, that's Sebastian. Vote on one passenger to get out and walk the rest of the way. Mm. <laughs> that player gets two points because that was rude, guys. <laughs> I vote that you walk the rest yeah, of the I way. Yeah, I vote that you walk the rest of the way. You're the runner. You have more stamina than I do. Fine. I get two points because that was rude. Gotcha. You know what? Like, so this is a game not just for, like, long road trips with a car full of people. Yeah. I feel like it's also good for... Like, if you're constantly taking short trips from here to there with your friends, just you get into the car, you pull out a card, and then that's the car. That's the card for that ride. It could be. You know what I but mean? But some of them are quick. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's it. Quick. So, it happens. That was the game you played oh, that we, ride. So, it's like a long game. Like, you play right. over the course of a week. Right. And yeah. then whoever has the most points at the end of the week right. gets gas yeah. money from everybody else. Sure. Like, I remember back when, like... You know, when you're just getting out of high school, or you're just starting college, like there's always, you're always going places with your friends and you all pile into one car because maybe some people don't drive yet. Or you, know, you drive a minivan. Or you drive a larger car. Oh, so, yeah, I drove a minivan. It just makes sense that all of you go together, right? So like, I used to take trips with two or three of my friends at a time and we would, this would be a regular thing. So, um, like if you're in that situation, these cars would be perfect. I tried to play this on a longer road trip uh -huh. with some students, and they were not having it. No? They asked me... <laughs> Please, can we stop? <laughs> yeah. No. They, like, played a couple of cards, and then they just were not that into it. I don't know. Mm. So, you may have to choose your crowd. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Choose I your crowd. Um, okay. Anyone who brought a book to read on this trip gets a point. You're not going to read it. Who are you kidding? <laughs> Did you bring a book? I did not. I actually left my bag at work. I 100% brought a book. I'm going to do, we're even going to do a reveal. You absolutely, I'm sure This you is did. a video pod. <laughs> this is the book that I brought. It's called Work Won't Love You Back by <laughs> Sarah Jaffe. I'm reading it for the book club at work. Yeah. I need to be done reading it by next Tuesday and I am not going to be. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. But yeah, I brought that. I'm not going to read it. It's very small print. Oh. Yeah, it's very small print, and it's a lot of information, so it's taking me a while to get through it. Why don't you get the audiobook version and just listen to the rest of I it? I tried. I tried, but... Just got caught off by a big yellow truck, folks, who just... Four, one, two, three lanes! Yep, they just three cut across lanes. three lanes. And it's definitely, like, someone who... Is that a moving truck, is it? It doesn't look like a moving truck, but it's definitely not like a commercial truck. That's yeah. somebody rented that truck. Yeah, not great. Just 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 for the sake of, of venting right now, uh, this truck was in the right hand lane and 
traversed three lanes, not because they missed an exit or were about to miss an exit. No, they traversed three lanes just to get in the fast lane. There was no emergency. In the fast lane. There was no emergency there. Why did they need to do that? I mean, anyway. I would argue that cutting across that much traffic is creating an emergency that Correct. really doesn't need to be created. Absolutely. Yeah. Be safe out there, folks. Be safe. Yeah. Gain a point if you've ever ridden on a motorcycle on the highway. Oh, Add two points if you've ever road tripped on a motorcycle. Oh, I wish. That's a dream. That's a dream right there. My dad has a motorcycle, mm-hmm. and I have ridden the motorcycle with my father. And it was on a highway, but not like a traditional, not like a four lane. It was like a country road highway. Okay. So that's one point. For Life me. is a highway. Does that sound like I'm driving ride it? it all yes, yes, it does. I want to drive it all night long. One. Yes, it does. We have missed it. that it one. Does have How do we miss Life is a Highway? I don't know. That's, you gave up. That's the road trip song. It is. That's you, every road trip playlist. Uh, you kick that. You kick it off with that. Yeah. And then you get a little free fall and going, <clears throat> and then you do like some theme stuff. All rise, just all rise the entire way. <laughs> By the end of the road trip, you're just exhausted and crying. <laughs> Dude, the music's too good. I need a, I need fast car. I need something. <laughs> fast car will bring you down real fast. Is it my turn? Yeah. Oh. So for those of you watching the video version of this, uh, this is pretty much what it's like for us when we record these podcasts. Like you're watching exactly what our faces and emotions go through <laughs> when we're recording these podcasts, which you're doing it in real time. But you can't see my eyes, which are really the most expressive part. Yeah. Sorry, it's sunny. Uh, first person in the back seat to correctly say the words on every side view mirror wins two points. We don't have anyone in the back seat. No. But also, I don't know what that means. On every side view mirror. Every side view mirror say says the, the same words. words. On every side view mirror. Object Objects closer, are closer than, than the mirror. Yep. Yeah. No one in the back seat. You want to pick another one? Because there was no one in the back seat. Uh, yeah. No, two players were sitting sitting behind the driver. What? All right. Although the <laughs> this is secretly me just throwing away the card because I don't want to do the challenge. I'm going to take this. Compete in a freestyle rap battle. Yes. <laughs> but we're doing that before the end of the episode, right? <laughs> uh, dashboard. Next dashboard. time you pass cows, everyone moo. Okay. Last one to moo loses a point. So in perpetuity. In so perpetuity. from now until the end of this from now recording. Until, yeah. No, from now until someone moves. If okay. we see cows. I don't know if we're going to see cows, though. I, I don't think this so. This isn't a particularly cow area. Mm-hmm. No, however, uh, the area of Miami Lakes near where my parents live, There are many cows, and I have an interesting fact as to why that is, even though it's not a farm area. It is not a a agricultural agricultural area. You want to hear the fun fact? I have wanted nothing more my entire life. (laughs) So, uh, the town of Miami Lakes enjoys huge tax benefits because they are technically an agrarian city. Or an agrarian town, despite the fact that we don't actually raise anything or like, but like just are there like <laughs> there are random pens of grass, and they just move the cows right around. Now, like, to are them. there trees somewhere? Like, are there fruit trees? Or no, like... not in Miami Lakes. I mean, there might be a botanical Weird. garden here or there, but I'm saying like there are random plot. You'll be driving through Hialeah and Miami Lakes, and there will be. Oh, I don't drive through those. Nobody places, right but now. Thank here. you. Uh, there will be random plots of land with cows on them t- for no reason. They're not, they're, they're, nobody's doing anything with those cows. And then they will just take those cows and Keep move them. T- on the steering wheel. I think, fine, cruise control. Um, <laughs> no, I think uh, the cows probably move themselves, no? no? From pen to pen? No. Trucks come, they move a couple of cows to a different pen, like that. I mean, cows are... are- mobile they can move yeah within one pen but they can't like jump a gate yeah but you can also put the pen around the cow yes but like, what i'm my saying guess is, is the cows are moving and they're putting the pens around the cow rather than the 
cows into pens. What? No. Why? No, because there are several pens. There are just cat. So there's ten cows in pen A, and two cows in pen B. This is a math problem. This is a math I problem. don't like it. <laughs> um, I don't like it. So okay, ten cows in pen A, two cows in pen B, and somebody will come with a truck and move six cows from A to B. So now there are four cows in A and eight cows in B, and then they'll take six cows later from somewhere else and move them to pen C. And how much is the price of beef? Okay. <laughs> cow people. Tell so us how cows work. So it started Please. as an interesting fact and then you turned it into math and made it for it. You turned it into math. I didn't turn it in. You turned it into math. You did that. Okay. So mine says player with the lowest cell battery gets a point mm. and then gets dibs on charging their phone. So I'm going to check your cell phone battery. Um, I don't think you can see my. I don't think better. I can see. Oh wait, there it is. Uh, okay, seventy-one. 71%. Mine is lower than seventy-one. It's like fifty something. Okay. Mine's, so you get mine was like fifty-nine last time I checked it. Gotcha. So. So you get cell phone charging privileges. I get cell phone charging. Privileges. Yeah, and mine's at seventy-one in climbing because yours is seventy-one and plugged in. Yeah. Yeah. But mine is, mine's definitely under seventy. Right. It's under sixty. Well, good news because I have a triple-headed phone charger. I mean, that can I'm charge fine. my phone and yours. I'm fine. I'm not looking at it right now. Fair. I'm okay. I'm not going to die. Yeah. I brought a little charging cable if I need to charge it later, but I'm fine. Whoever spots the next cop Ooh. gets a point for being on the lookout. So oh, this is just, another dashboard. This is another in perpetuity. We just passed a cop. I know. We did just pass a cop. So cops and cows... That person gets a point. All so right. we're on the lookout cops. for cows, cows and we're on and the cops. lookout for a cop. Ooh, I want another dashboard one that starts with a C. Ooh, right? <laughs> I love I love some alliteration. What could it be? A camera? Ah, traffic cameras. A traffic camera? Okay. Cop! Shh. No, never mind. No, Sorry. not a cop. Jump the gun. Not a cop. Jump the gun. Definitely like a work truck. Tow truck. Uh, if we've had to stop so you could pee so far during this game, <laughs> you lose a point. Nope, went before we left. Went before we left. It was the best move. No one gets a point. Or no one loses a point. Right. No one loses a point. Okay. Da, 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 da. If anyone has a negative score, they get a point to help them out. You have one. And you have. And I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm winning is the main takeaway of that. Okay. We are that now, we are now I picked it. We are now passing the Sawgrass Mills Mall. Still no cops, still no cows. Mm -hmm. There will definitely be a cop somewhere. Yeah, 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 for sure. Definitely be a cop somewhere. Okay. What does that tell you? That state troopers drive on state highways. But also more cops and cows. Okay, never mind. Go on. Well, cops are moving longer distances. Cows yes. are sort of staying in the same spot. Are they staying in the same spot or do they move and then they put pens around? Oh, them? I mean, the pens are all in a particular <laughs> area. It's not like cows are driving miles and miles on the highway. All right, go ahead. Also, you don't just see one cow. You see several cows at a time. We only see usually one or two cops at a time. Your comparison doesn't make sense. Sorry. How many cars does Jerry Seinfeld own? Oh, I'm just oh going to ask this God. to you because I can see the answer. How many uh, cars does Jerry Seinfeld own? No cheating. Uh, 27. No. Am I close? You're not close <laughs> at all. Is it a three-digit number? Yes. Wow. 137. You're closer. I don't know how many. 150. I, I don't like that. That's too round of a number. Like, did he just it get seems, to 150 yeah, and stop? Yeah, that seems fake. Yeah. That seems fake. Also, that's way too many cars. But also, isn't that the number of relationships that you can successfully maintain? <laughs> that's what I hear. So he's just at the 150 cap. Maybe, yeah. I don't I'm gonna know. I'm going to give you a point for I, that. I feel like once you have that many cars, you no longer have cars. You have a dealership. Well, he did have that, like, riding in 
Ra- cars uh, comedians with riding or, in cars. Were those, his, those were not his cars, though, right? Oh, I don't or know. Or were they? I never watched it. I, watched, I should have. I've heard good things about it. I just. I mean, it's interesting. If you're in into comedy, it's really, I yeah. think, interesting. I stopped watching it after a while, but I watched quite a few episodes. Hmm. But he never really makes it clear where the car comes from. Like, if he... If it's his car or if he, like, right. well, rented it from somewhere, he's driving. So I feel Usually like he, I think he's driving. his cars. I think sometimes he lets the other person drive. 150 a bit. cars. That means that you can drive a new car. Almost every other day. Right. Every third uh, day. How do you, I don't know. I have, like, five shirts and it's hard to decide which one to wear. Right. Do you have, like, a specific car for a specific occasion? Or... Like, do you have a birthday car? Mm-hmm. Do you have a DeLorean? Do right. you have a Batmobile? Also, do you just have, like, a regular, everyday, you know, <laughs> like Honda Mo- Civic like that you're just Mazda driving around? Mazda 3 that he drives around with. <laughs> you know, picking up the kids from school and, like, you know, picking up groceries. Or right. do you do that and you're, like, Maserati? Right. I don't know. <laughs> I have one car that doesn't even function right now. Right. So... It's really hard to say. Yeah. I don't know what that's like. Um, I have a car and I don't have a car. So. <laughs> uh, was that yours or mine? Uh, I believe that was yours. Oh, yours because you can see the answer. People are going to be so. Yeah, but I read yours anyway. Oh, right. People are going to be so annoyed because I'm going to lose. I'm losing just, track so much. I know. But I'm also like driving, so I can't help you. Yeah. No, I know. It's fine. And you're the being, fact that you're reading. You're being safe. I the feel fact safe. that you're reading every card is what's missing as well. Dashboard. Next yeah. person to spot. Roadkill. Oh. Roadkill gets a point. Okay. So cops, cars. Kill. Kill. All right. Well, still, it's still alliteration. Yeah. You know, actually, there's not that much roadkill in Florida. Compared right. Compared to where I grew up. We've already gotten rid of all the animals. No, compared to where I grew up, there's roadkill all over the place in Michigan. Really? Here, like, maybe you'll see a snake or, like, a possum on US yeah. 1 from time to time. But, like, there's really not that much roadkill. Right. Yeah, usually what I see is uh, turtles or possums. Stray cats, which sadness. Yeah, sad. What sucks is now I own a cat. Like before, I used to see roadkill cat and not think twice about it. But now that I own a cat, not own, uh, a, a cat has chosen to allow me to live in its house. Yeah. Um, it's so hard to see roadkill cats or dogs. Have you ever hit anything? No. Well, lies. So once I hit a bird, but it flew off. So I think okay. we're okay. And it's funny because, sorry, it's not funny. It's not funny. I'm sure the bird felt it, but like, it was, it, it wasn't even in my way. Like I was driving and it was on the side of the road and it flew into my windshield. <laughs> like I was, why would you fly into my windshield? But it left the impression of the entire side of its body and wing buddy on my windshield and then just like flew off so i don't know maybe it was her and the adrenaline kept it going but uh i i was like oh no but birds will also do that and they like stun themselves sure like they'll fly into a window and they'll stun themselves and then kind of shake it off right and then i guess and then also go. also windshields are on a on a diagonal so it's not like maybe a it was, blunt hit yeah, it's more of a maybe glancing it was like aiming for somewhere else it didn't blow. do the physics right I guess. Yeah. I hit a, I think I hit a raccoon one time. Ooh. It was really, really dark, really dark outside. And it was like back roads in Michigan. And I think I hit a raccoon and I had to like pull over to the side of the road and cry. I was oh, so upset. No. Yeah. I was so upset. It was bad. Yeah. I was so upset. Anyway. Feelings. Okay. Uh, if you've ever spent the night in a car, you've earned yourself a point. Really? Oh, yeah. Why did you spend the night in a car? This is the life of a professional wrestler. Like, sometimes you can't afford a hotel. Or, like, if you're traveling... Was it your car? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I always drive. Um, no, but that... Okay. But that doesn't mean that you spent the night in your own car. You right. You could have spent the night in someone else's... Like a rental car or somebody car. else's car. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, no, no, it was my car. Okay. So, well, because again, it's it's for if I'm driving to a wrestling show, 
and I'm only getting paid twenty, forty dollars, you know, whatever, to wrestle in that show. I'm already spending most of that on gas. Right. Right. If I have to rent a hotel room or rent another car or whatever, it's kind of not worth to the payment, right? So sometimes like you can, you can split sort of a car. justify breaking even. Right. But you not. can justify breaking even, but not going in at a loss. Yeah. You know, at that point, you're just kind of doing it because you love it, which I do, yeah. and I have done. But as you get older, you sort of start doing want to start doing that less. Yeah. Um, but you like drive to places and you'd be tired and like, look, I'm going to stop. I'd rather sleep here on the side of the road than get into an accident. <clears throat> and if you go with somebody else. You can split the cost of like the gas and the food and whatever. Yeah. Um, so it's a it, you're breaking a little bit better. Uh, so like whatever, you just pull off the side of the road and you both take a nap in your respective seats and then move on. But it was like a super long drive, or it was like you drove the way there, you wrestled and then slept in the car and then drove home. That that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Or like you start to drive home and then you start to realize like I'm way like, too I'm tired. Not make it. Right. Yeah. I thought I could That's make it a home. Smart decision. Well, because when you're driving there, it's like daytime and you're all excited and you're awake and you're talking and whatever. But then on the way back, yeah. everybody in your car falls asleep. Yeah. You know. Even if you have the AC blowing directly on you, right. or right. And you start to drive. <laughs> you've got your road trip playlist that's all up. Uh, I still remember uh, my buddy George. We were on our way back from Naples from a wrestling show. And whoever else was in the back seat, I want to say my brother was there, uh, were all sleeping in the back seat. And I remember uh, I have anxiety about being driven places, so I always have to drive. Yeah. So I know it's one of my favorite things about you because I <laughs> you hate driving. I have anxiety about <laughs> driving places, so right. I just get to sit in the car. Yeah. So I'm driving, and I remember George saying, "Hey Dash, are you awake?" I'm like, "Yeah." It was, can you get back on the road then? Oh, no. <laughs> I was on the side of the road. I was already like halfway onto the shoulder. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, all right. We need to stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we no. need to pull over at the next rest stop. Then I just slapped myself a couple of times, splashed some water in my face. But yeah. How I needed... far did you have in the trip? Uh, so it's Naples, right? Which is like a two hour drive. So we were probably an hour or so into the trip so an hour left yeah yeah but when you're that tired like okay take a nap you know 20 30 minutes and because and, and the thing is at that late at night you're not really losing anything by stopping to sleep yeah because right what are you you're gonna get home a half an hour later like what are you gonna do you're just gonna go home and sleep so you're not you know it's like i have to be somewhere exactly half <laughs> yeah. an hour later I need to be somewhere at 2.30 <laughs> a.m. Nothing good ever happens after exactly. 2 in the morning. Exactly. If you need to be somewhere at 2.30 a.m., examine. Examine <laughs> what brought you to that moment. Yeah. And think critically about it. Yeah. Those Naples shows were fun. Yeah? Yeah. Well, okay. So it's a, it's a county fair that they have over in Naples. Okay. And in Collier County. Hi, everybody. It's a Collier County Fair. Yeah. And they would hire us to go over there and... The fair goes on for two or three nights, and they hired us to do wrestling for those two nights. And we show out, get paid, and but it's cool because it's like it's a lot of people you know, and the people in Collier County don't know who's famous, who's not. They just know they wrestlers. Just watch yeah, the wrestling show, they just want to yeah. watch a wrestling show. So I've wrestled there at the Collier County Fair. I have wrestled in front of hundreds of people and two people, and it's all it's all a great experience, especially when you're first starting out. My brother wrestled his first match oh, at the Collier fine. County Fair. Yeah. They needed some. Somebody had to cancel last minute, and they were like, is Speedy with you? Yeah, yeah he's here. Can he wrestle? Uh, yeah. Uh, All right. <laughs> so we, we I guess. stopped by Walmart, picked him up some knee pads. He was ready to go. That's fun. Yeah. Is it my turn? I think it is. Let's do one more. At home? Is it my turn? Okay. First player who can find something lodged in the crack of their seat wins mm. two points. Your car is pretty clean. Yes, it is. Thank you for noticing. Your car is pretty clean. Also, I have little bumpers that keep things from falling into the cracks, so you're not going to find I mean, technically, them. I found this. Dun, dun, dun. It's hard to see. That light doesn't adjust properly. Yeah. But. 
It's a name tag. Yeah. It's a name tag. We'll call it. A, it's not in the crack of the seat though. Like no. you specifically placed it there. Your right. car is clean. Yeah. A particle of dust, maybe. <laughs> no one gets points on that. No. Okay. All right. So that was shotgun. Oh, you're done. I think so. You want me to do one yeah, more? Do one more. Do one more. It's our first video one. We got to go extra. Yeah. I'm starting to look out for this cop car, man. Me too. Okay. If you've ever had to miss out on a field trip because your parents <sighs> didn't sign the permission slip, have a point. At least you made it today. I have a caveat, but okay. I know. That's not me. I never. Not that I remember. Yeah. If I If it did happen, I don't remember it happening. Right. So. Great job, parents. You wiped my memory of that <laughs> trauma. Little T trauma. All right. No, I, I, my parents always signed their permission. So I was, I mean, I grew up and became a teacher. So I like always put my papers in the folder and like always right. brought everything back. Like, I just, I like that. Yeah. How about you? I'm guessing yes. Yes. Not because they forgot, but because I wouldn't show it to them and I would just not go on the field trip. Oh, um, because you have ADHD? Oh, no, no, no. It was, it was, all right. If we want to get, should we get deep and personal here? Uh, I mean, so we, we, still, we still have another hour to drive, so. <laughs> so we, um, you know, I'm going to tell the story just because I want this to be a lesson for people who had to grow up the way I did. Okay, we, everybody. Uncle Dash is telling <laughs> a story. Listen, listen, listen. We did not have a ton of money uh, growing up. And you got to be careful when you talk about money in front of your kids, because especially when you're not well off, it can affect them in certain ways. And so, for example, um, when, a, when a field trip would come up, I would, uh, and like, for example, if you had to pay to go on the field trip. Where? Oh. it! Oh. Oh. I love that I'm telling this like deeply personal Jeff story. Jeff is telling a deeply <laughs> personal story and there's two state troopers waiting to listen, baby. That's a point for me. <laughs> oh, and I also have to edit that volume because it was so loud. <laughs> You're welcome. Where was I on my story? Don't talk about money in front of your kids. Don't talk about, money. talk about money in front of your kids. Some field trips cost money. Some field trips cost money. So whenever yeah. a field trip would cost money, I would calculate in my head, and if it was like, if it was more than ten dollars, I wouldn't even ask my parents. I would just say that no, I couldn't go, and they couldn't sign the field trip for me. So I would stay behind. Yeah. Um. To, because like I didn't like maybe you they could have paid him. You maybe didn't they want to have the conversation. Right. Didn't wanna, I didn't want to feel like you could ask. Right. But also like I didn't want them to feel like they had to say yes, and then. That was money that they needed for something else. Yeah. Right? Um, which is, I, I think that's part of the reason that, like, I am the way I am now and why I will randomly give gifts to people. Just like if I'm if I'm out and about and I see something and I'm like, oh, this person would like that gift. Oh, just, roadkill. Um, really? Yeah, there was a possum. Aww. Um, I know. Sorry for the possum, but Rest thank you for the peace, point. Rest in peace, possum. Uh, this is why I give gifts to people, when like, randomly. Like... This is why I have that little project that I'm doing now where I leave ducks all over the place, right? Like, Which, by the way, as uh -huh. I was packing my stuff today, I like, you know, I have my shirt, I have my shoes, and I pulled something out and a blue duck fell out. <laughs> You're welcome. And I think it was, I don't know how it happened, but anyway, I found one of your ducks today. Yeah. So, yeah, backstory, I've been leaving these little plastic ducks randomly in different locations just for people to find and feel a little bit of joy. And uh, so stuff like that. I like I like giving um, because growing up, giving wasn't something that was done to me very often because we you just couldn't. So I don't know. Uh, now you like giving. Now I like giving. Um, but as a kid, I was afraid. To, not afraid, but I just didn't want to. I didn't want to be a bother and ask for money if it wasn't absolutely necessary. You know. Yeah, I get that I don't want to be a bother thing. <clears throat> yeah. That's sort of my attitude when it comes to, like, reaching out to friends and stuff. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, they're busy. Like, they got kids. They yeah. got a new job, whatever. Like, so I just feel like I don't want to be a bother, even though I know, like, 
their friends, right? right? But I get that. I I relate to that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And now, like, I I saw this thing the other day, and they were like, "Well, if your friends needed to reach out to you, wouldn't you help them out? Wouldn't don't you want them to reach out to you? Don't you feel right glad that they thought about you enough to reach out to you and see how you were?" Second thought that I have. (laughs) But then it's like, yeah, but I don't want to be the. The first thought is always, eh. Yeah. And then the second thought is always, but I would be happy. So right, exactly. So I'm trying to get better at it. Yeah, it's just hard. But, you know, all you can do is try. Be better tomorrow than you were today. Yeah. And I think and with that. Yeah. Expressway ends and we reduce speed. <laughs> you want to count the points? How many points do we have? Sure, yeah. Here we are reducing speed. Oh, so we'll to go down to 45. Um, one. Yeah, I wonder why. Are we not on well, a highway? Yeah, we're on a street. Oh, uh, okay. The highway, has the, highway, the highway has become a street. So I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven points. I have seven points. Here we go. Dash has one for roadkill. Two for the permission slip. This is so bad about having roadkill, is uh, it? Three for sleeping in a car, four for the longest commute, and I gave you one, so five for Jerry Seinfeld having 150 cars. So I have five, and, and you have, have seven? Seven. So Allie wins! Congratulations! And I also win because I'm not driving. <laughs> so you won from the start. I won from the start. Yeah. All right, little ghosties, thank you so much for joining us on our first ever video and first ever road trip podcast let us know what you think in the comments yeah if you uh, like it then we'll do some more of these yeah we drive improv uh festival season is coming up so <laughs> drives are in the future yeah uh we'll maybe see you soon <laughs> but you'll definitely hear from us soon yeah we love you little ghosties bye, bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. Now we'd love to hear from you. You can visit playdatepod.us to watch our videos. Access our episode library. Find out more about our brand of quality, clean comedy. And contact us with any questions or comments. Improvisers love audience suggestions, so make sure you visit playdatepod.us. And the podcast you just heard was a production of Society Circus Players. If you like what you heard today, please rate, review, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And finally, if life's a circus, we're We're the clowns. clowns! I think our I think our camera has sunk down slightly. There. That's better. Okay. We fixed the camera everyone. Okay.